there will never be a point in your time in your life where it's the right time to do a great thing if you're waiting for that perfect perfect moment that perfect timing is not going to happen you know what you have to do you have to create the perfect time and the perfect opportunity and the perfect situation so that a lot of people become comfortable they stop growing they stop wanting anything they, they become satisfied people getting ready to go to jobs that they don't like jobs that are making them sick you see when you're not pursuing your goal you are literally committing spiritual suicide when you have some goal out here that you're stretching for and reaching for that takes you out of your comfort zone you'll find out some talents and abilities you have that you didn't know you have when the messenger of misery visits you what are you going to do what will keep you in the game let me tell the story with the lion and gazelle. You still stuck, you're a gazelle. You are, you are a gazelle. You need something to motivate you. What happens to the gazelle when the lion ain't chasing him? Well, what happens is, he, nothing, he stops running. Why? Because he always needs something external to motivate him. There are a lot of people, you're not successful in life, not because you ain't got talent, not because you ain't got skills, but your character ain't right. And I've told you this before, that if you're not careful, your talent will take you places that your character can't keep you. So what's your motive? The reason why you can't get up at four o'clock in the morning, the reason why when I say get up at six, you're looking at me like I'm crazy, is because you don't have that thing that's driving you, that's pushing you to say no to the alarm clock and wake up no to the snooze button. When, when you get that extra assignment, that extra lot, the reason why you can't do it is because you don't have the right to that motive that's pushing the action. What's your why? Somebody came up to me. They said, E.T., man, I'm tired. I put in the work, E.T., I'm not seeing the results. I did what you told me to do. I read the book you told me to read. I put in the hours you told me to put in. E, I'm doing it, and I'm not seeing anything. Listen to me closely. Why do you do what you do, and that's so important? It's not enough just to be a doctor. You got doctors who got terrible bedside manners. Terrible. You got lawyers who are skilled but arrogant. If we talk about character right now, what's your motive? What moves you? What drives you? And whatever it is, sports, life, business, whatever it is, health, listen to me very closely. You got to change that mindset. Question is, what are you going to do with your time? What drives you? Greatness is a lot of small things done well. Day after day, workout after workout, obedience after obedience, day after day. When things don't work out for you, when things happen that you could not anticipate, what are the reasons that you can think of that can keep you strong? You will never ever be successful until you turn your pain into greatness, until you allow your pain to push you from where you are to push you to where you need to be. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize, a part of your product. I, I challenge you to push yourself. See, it's easy to be on the bottom. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. It doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there on a low level. But it calls on everything in you. You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. I mean that what you did last week don't count. Today, today is the only important day. There are 86,400 seconds in a day, and how you use those are critical. You got 86,400 today, and what you do today is going to see me who you are. Nobody's going to talk about what you did last week. that the biggest enemy you have to deal with is yourself. There's an old African proverb that says, if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. You have this opportunity of a lifetime. It means absolutely nothing if you don't take advantage of it in the lifetime of this opportunity. I got a saying that when life knocks you down, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, 
to work day and night for, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for. If all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it. See, it's time now. If you want to make this your decade, you've got to start saying yes to your life. You've got to start saying yes to your dreams, yes to your unfolding future, yes to your potential, as opposed to saying no. When you die, die on E. Leave no dream left behind, guys. Leave no opportunity left behind. When you leave this earth, accomplish every single thing you can accomplish. Listen to me, you're gonna be here one day, but you'll never get here if you give up, if you give in, if you quit. And finally, guys, you gotta wanna succeed as bad as you wanna breathe.